it's me, Carrie Lando. I am here with a thrift haul for you. Let's jump in. These are all from my hometown, Ben Salem, PA. Let's jump in. We got a cat t-shirt. The brand is Morning Sun. We have the fake layering. If you want to pretend you're wearing t-shirts, it's the birdhouse restaurant. Look at all those cats. They're like, oh God, we want to eat you. Oh, we need to eat those birds and leave it on a doorstep. It is a woman's 1X made in the USA, all cotton, and I paid $3 for it. I went to an estate sale. It's pretty cheap, but it smelled terrible. I got three things for $6. I got some hiking boots for me, not pictured, but I also got these linen pieces. This is J. Jill, small, 100% linen, just a little marigold yellow, and then a vintage Chico size one, which is like small, medium, I think. A little tribal print. Check that out. Some like cave painting type stuff. Resellers love linen. I, it doesn't sell very well for me, but $2 each. I'll get it. All right, this one already sold. It's a Rubik's Cube t-shirt. Front and back, I saw the cube. This is my favorite part. The brand, Dallas Alice. Oh, good old Dallas Alice. It's on a Hanes shirt. Uh, already sold for $25, so got to get her out from the same thrift store, also for $2. It's a Mr. Bill, oh no, t-shirt, single stitch, knit tag, uh, $2 as well, it's not sold. I got one more thing that sold at that thrift store, which was like a 70s gown, it was gorgeous, psychedelic. Here's a picture. Uh, sold for 25. The zipper was a little wonky. I'm still a little worried. Fingers crossed. It it works. It's just like you have to pull hard, but not too hard to break it. Anyway, it's gorgeous. She's gone. This next piece may be a mistake, but I cannot say no to a designer. It's Halston, 100% silk. The label kind of puts it early 2000s, so a little vintage. It's very soft, a little bit of wash wear in the silk, but I don't know. Might not be a great seller. This next dress, at one thrift store, I got three 90s dresses, all $6.99 each. This one is my favorite. It's a very like 90s does 40s kind of look, but there is a little hole, which I did not notice. The brand, I love the brand name, Pappy Boys. It is a medium slash large, but it's really large. It's with the hole, I priced to move, put it for 26, sold for 20. Not a huge profit. I think I made like $9, sold on Poshmark. But, you know, I don't have to put it in my suitcase and bring it back. Okay, next we have a set. I love a good set. This is maybe overpriced. It was $6.99. The brand, I love the brand, Changes by Theodore. It's like a cotton acetate blend. And we got the little, little shorts. It's labeled an extra small, but this this is humongous. This is not an extra small. We'll see. It's cute. If we're a time year, I would like wear that all the time. It's super comfy. Oh, this is another one of the $6.99 dresses. This one is so cute too. Very, they're all very like granny, cottage core, prairie, fake gunny sacks. Look at the little rose detail. Brand. Ellen, Ashley. No size tag, but it's a large. I did the measurements and somebody actually had this listed somewhere else as a size 10 and this one was a little bigger. Measurement wise, so probably a 12. And the last of the 90s dresses. This one is a 20, 100% rayon by Diana Marco. And it's just like a very cool, once again, tribal boho, like fake layered skirt. Another one of the rayon gauze. No holes in this one now. Real cute. From the same thrift store, I got this, yay! It is from Sequoia National Park, the General Sherman tree, and it's a frog. A little ashtray. I'm not sure we're going to sell him. I might give this to somebody. From the same thrift store, we got this bra. It was only $1.99. It's Brooks Running, but it's kind of special. It's ODP. I forget what it stands for, but it's basically a long distance running program. So this is like a special technology mesh compression tank. Somebody had it listed for 60, listed for 45. I put mine for 40. Little cute running tank. Next, this was $1.50. It is the Cheryl Teague's collection made in the USA. This is a line she did for Sears in the 80s. This is a little cottage core cotton blouse in a large. Real cute, won't get a lot, but it was $1.50. 
This was maybe a bad buy, but they're super cute. They're these vintage jeans. I mean, look how cute they are. But they have wear in the crotch. You know, it doesn't go all the way through. They're $6.99. They're good size. They say $13.14, but they're closer to like probably a modern $8.10-ish. They were a little big on me. Got some cool fading. They're a 30 by 29. So I don't know, kind of a bad buy, but maybe, maybe they'll sell. Price them to move at 26. I'm hoping they sell before I leave because they're a little heavy. And also because I got a second pair of jeans that I also hope will sell before I leave. I put these for more, but these were 49 because they're a balloon waist. They're like a classic Lee a denim. What do they mark? They're marked like a 11 petite, but they're closer to probably an eight. I mean, I can wear them pretty comfortably as a six and they're gorgeous. Another 99 cent purchase. This is just a vintage little express size one, two mini skirt. It's hundred percent leather. There's a little bit of wear though on like the edges, not a lot. It's lined, very mini. Leather for 99 cents. I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> Next we have another 99 cent piece. This is the plus, this one thrift store always has great stuff in the plus size section. A vintage Y2K Ralph Lauren crest t-shirt. It is a 3X. Loren active, 100% cotton. And uh, yeah, this one thrift store always has great stuff in the plus size section. So yeah, 99 cents. This is $1.50 from a different thrift store. It was half off. I think it was three and half off. And it's just a little white. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. It's a little Y2K. Tico, small, 100% cotton for $1.50. I gotta take a chance. Take a chance, take a chance. This, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. This was only, it was... $2.99, but it was half off. It's a little gold clutch, a little vintage gold clutch. And there we go. And yeah, all the beadings there. I don't know, there's a tad, I don't know, all the beadings there. I don't know if I should have bought this, but I'll just try to list it for like 15 or something. Try to sell her. This is another wallet from the same thrift store. It's a dollar fifty. It's just, a little vintage piece. You know, I'm not gonna get, oh look, there's the price, $1.49. I'm not gonna get a lot for it, but it is just, I love the colors. I love the retro. I feel like this is like very Aviator Nation. Kind of what's going on now. Ooh, <laughs> uh, a tapestry. It was only $6, although I find these at the bins a lot, but this one was so cool. I'm not gonna not get it. And it still has the original tag, which I feel like they don't normally have. Made in Italy. Boom. So, I don't know. Probably. I listed this for 26 That's my haul. Thanks for watching. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. Bye.